Public health officials in one county have big plans for unprecedented state funding. This is from the expansion of public health spending. Lawmakers approved earlier this year. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist has been following the public health expansion story for months now. He shows us what this means for you. When you walk through the door of your county health department, the services that await you on the other side used to depend on where you live. Those days are nearly over. And here in Shelby County, you're about to find a lot more help in these rooms. Hello, Ms. Hazel. We're going to go right here. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, and Sarah Thurman is giving out the first vaccine of the day. This is her hepatitis B. Okay. Thurman is a public health nurse at the Shelby County Health Department. Good. Oh! All done. All done. When I first um, hired on, that school liaison grant was a two-year program, so that's the at the end of that two years, you don't really know if the job will still be available or not. So with this funding that's coming on, that's a, a big relief. This spring, the General Assembly passed a law that provides millions of dollars in additional public health funding for counties that agree to provide a uniform set of basic services. The program is called Health First Indiana. Commissioners in all but six of Indiana's 92 counties voted to accept the extra funding for 2024. In Shelby County, officials plan to make permanent Thurman's job and a vital records assistant and hire a full-time food safety inspector. They also plan to expand services such as immunizations and testing for sexually transmitted infections. They were very receptive, the county council and the commissioner. Uh, they liked the idea. They knew how short-staffed we were after the COVID. Director Robert Lewis has worked for the department since 1986. He says the money will help him provide services he's wanted for decades. It means they're getting uh, more value for their taxpayers' money. Uh, they're getting the services uh, before. If you had a complaint, we might be a week or two out to get out to them. The funding varies based on a county's population and needs. Shelby County will receive a little less than half a million dollars when the money arrives on January 1st. Lewis says having more staff means each person on his payroll can focus on their jobs rather than covering for someone else. Now that Thurman knows she can stick around, she's focusing on services such as maternal health, disease tracing, and making bleed kits for every classroom in the county. We have a lot of exciting things that we're going to be doing with this grant coming in and we're happy and we're uh, glad to share it. The counties that are taking part in Health First Indiana will have to reapply for the additional funding every year. In Shelbyville, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com and like us on Facebook.